Pisces days. This is my second reading today for you, Pisces. The first one I did was the September uh, forecast. This one's going to be the full autumn overview quote forecast. The third reading I'm doing for you today is going to be a love reading. So, cards have been shuffled to save time. Overall energy in the head of your reading is the six of air. It will affect all of the energies right here. Nine of air. Six of fire. Eight of water. The hierophant. Okay, hey, the first reading I did today on September, it was a weird reading, but it did show a lot of your strengths. Um, while I was shuffling these cards, I was thinking about that first reading I did for you for September. And the word ambassador kept coming to me. So I've time traveled into September. I'm actually physically sitting in June. Uh, but knowing the events that were coming or having a good clue about the events coming, um, I like that I've been able to go ahead in time and have renewed and restored faith in humanity through the troubled times we have been through. Let me continue rather than ramble. Three of Earth, King of Earth at the heart of your reading with the Four of Fire and transformation. Well, 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 well. Hierophant and transformation, both major arcana. Something is being sacrificed here. Are you walking away from a partnership? You are having to walk away from uh, old energies in order to accept this huge energy coming in. It's it's like a computer. You have to free up some of the memory. Oh, that's not a really good analogy, is it? I never thought it was a good idea to forget anything. But energies have to be released after, well, resolution. I, you're walking away from old energies to let this energy in. This energy is victorious. This is a collaboration. Perhaps you're worried that they won't collaborate. Perhaps you're worried that even though there's a blueprint and a plan, here's the plan. We've all agreed we're going with the plan. And you're up in your head worrying, is the plan going to work? But the plan, you have help. This is a solid offer that kind of seals the deal on this. And see, the Wheel of Fortune was in event mode twice in the September reading. This is holy ground. The Hierophant to transformation. There's, there's a sense of sacrifice. Redemption, energy change, oh boy, that's a lot of love, king of water, <laughs> eight of air, ace of fire, messenger of earth, okay, there is that. freeing up of energy to let this energy in. There's someone who loves you so deeply, unconditionally, has a lot of wisdom, but not in the non-judgmental judgmental way. Not in the judgmental way. Maybe love is, is keeping you stuck. 
is the this the right thing to do in a and in, in the you know this time of your life to make this commitment means it's a commitment That's, but there's this feeling of being stuck but with transformation and love i think you're just worried pisces that that the plan won't work now the head of your reading the overall energy you know the, it affects all these cards this is about peace tranquility you have victory here by rising above your energies rising above so you're going to have to walk away from something even if this is like a partner if you're walking away from a partner it may be one of temporary means because pisces do need to withdraw sometimes this person understands that nature of needing to withdraw perhaps they're going through that process right now but this new beginning there's there's a a passionate fire between you and someone possibly an earth sign scorpio showed up a couple times here taurus is this turning into a love reading this is supposed to be the full autumn overview now and messenger of earth she showed up again this is about being sure-footed and taking your time Maybe you just want to be stuck in bed with your lover all day. Take your time. This is a passionate new beginning. Now, in the business sense, there is a, there is your talents are needed. Your talents are needed with these two cards. So that's why this offer is coming in. This could be an offer of a career, a job, a partnership. that is going to change your whole environment. This will be a blessed one. Moon on the water. Look at that. From this view, Pisces, you can see that egg in the water. Yes, I know it's a reflection of the moon distorted. It looks like an egg. Something to be. Look at, they're all here, gathered. For that birthing. This journey you're on. All of your guides that have been with you on your journey. And the guides coming. Ooh, maybe this is about the UFO disclosure. Yeah, don't trust any disclosure coming from government or anyone who's, you know, just be careful. They want war. And quite frankly, humanity is sick of it. The ancestor. You bet. Perhaps you're worried that these energies will leave you. Some of you are praying. Some of you are praying for help from the ancestors. By golly, Pisces, maybe we're going to have that UFO invasion in, in the autumn. Because, it, you know, we think that uh, the last three years were bad. This final, you know, countdown event... Oh, I wonder how many people are going to be running in fear and three of arrows, jealousy. Okay, back to Earth, Catherine. Okay. 
victory over jealousy victory like okay there's going to be pain i know there's going to be pain but i don't have to suffer this is the kind of pain where you are cutting out an infection it was in the dna perhaps you're worrying about how certain things have come to be and that you are in the position you are in today uh, what has that got to do with your past your ancestors your dna because a lot of the things that they did um play out through generations the worry is uh not achieving not overcoming the guardian walking away something that has changed you change you oh gosh i hope this means humanity's freedom pisces often reflects more powerfully because of being the 12th sign 10 of bows responsibility This is the release of a lot of energy that came from past generations that got played out because the world is changing. There are some things that just, it's like, you know, the banking system. It won't last forever because it's flawed or corrupt or we had to learn or go through whatever process we were going through, whatever the hell that means. But you are breaking chains of past and look at this, letting go of some responsibilities that you have carried for too long. So it may seem like a sacrifice to you, Pisces, to, you know, but I've always looked after this person kind of thing. I've always done their job for them because they need help. They're ready to take that job on. They are ready to take that job on. So this is more, um, this isn't really a sacrifice. This is saying to you, Pisces, like you're holding the toddler's hands and helping them walk. This is saying you can let go of their hands now. They can walk on their own. And this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. <clears throat> Three of both, fulfillment, collaboration. Collaboration is going to bring back a culmination of energies much bigger than you expected. Thank you very much from your ancestors. We can all celebrate now. Well, maybe not quite yet, but we can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. We can see the, the finish line. Two of arrows, injustice. This is about making a decision. Maybe you felt like you were left out of that uh, equation. Someone else got your, your offer that you felt should have been your offer. Someone else got it. This is about decision time. In order for you to take on this new offer coming in, energy-wise, it's there. Even if it doesn't present manifest quite yet. You know, overcoming this type of energy is destructive and you have victory over that so even though this decision be hard and that was actually at the head of your reading in the not at the head but it showed up decision over this offer coming in having to release that's a hard decision, whatever it is. Five of stones, endurance. Enduring a partnership. Maybe hoping that it will get better. There is some transformation going on here. With a partner or a family member. Loved ones. These energies permeate all these levels. Hearth, fire, family, transformation. Well, Pisces... If that's what you're going through, just let me uh, encourage you that we're all going through that. But when I look at these readings, jumping into the future, knowing what's coming, I am so encouraged by 
how people are stepping into their roles. So we have the hearth fire, that transformation, reigniting. Look at this. Look, 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 look. There you are, keeping that fire lit, keeping the light on. And here they have all come home. Everything's coming home to roost. Transformation. Something is definitely leaving. This energy of leaving. Being removed. Creativity. Well, when it comes to love, time to get creative. This is collaboration. This is falling right under this energy of collaboration. And having that fulfillment, that blueprint that's going forward. Being creative in that blueprint. Oh boy, spirit was creative. You know, creator was creative, creative, wasn't he? Helping us to create through ages, and centuries, and millennia to where we are now and where we are going. It's a creative, great plan that's bringing in fulfillment. Whatever this difficult decision was to accept a huge offer, I mean, on first glance, it's like, why would you pass down an offer like that, Pisces, for heaven's sakes? But you must have good reason to either take the offer or turn it down. Balance, for the sake of balance, you don't want to be stuck. Fish can't be stuck. They need to flow in and out with the tide in a balanced, unchaotic way. And how nice this energy comes. We, we see a stone face here. That grounding energy. That grounding energy from your escape into your thoughts. And over worry. There's an offer of love coming in with a lot of passion here. Two of Stones Challenge. This is going to be a decision for you. Um, I am seeing these energies on all levels, Pisces. You know, physical, health, work. These are markers. But they're manifesting also in love. So you have this really passionate love offer coming in. Whether that is of a spiritual nature or of a physical nature. We're going to know when I do your love reading what's going on. But someone loves you crazy deep. And you're collaborating together. Heck. Maybe you're collaborating together to build, to build a big family. Or a community. There's love and devotion passionate devotion to this project called love well in these days and times love is the only thing that can overcome everything heal everything challenge everything and take the sure steps forward this is sure-footedness this messenger is energy that you will not stumble. You are fearful of stumbling in this challenge, but you're being careful and you have support. You have support in this transformation. Let's get a peek at the love. And uh, whoops, my last reading today will be your September love reading. And then I'll go back to living my life in June. And a reminder that there are, there's a link in the description under every video. Because for each tarot reading, I put together an astrology page to help connect the dots. 
better for you individually. Let's get a message or advice for Pisces. Over the autumn months, what should be the message for Pisces? Pisces to keep in mind over the autumn months regarding love engagement. There's a commitment here. There is a, some challenge in this commitment to trust it. This is a past life relationship that kind of showed up, didn't it? With the ancestor. And honeymoon. Look at that. That's the celebration. So whatever this feeling is, it feeling sad or lonely. Maybe you're feeling the honeymoon phase has ended. But trust, you're on the path. And you will be engaging in a collaborative effort here. Well, Pisces, to my subscribers, God bless you. And to those who haven't, please do. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.